What I'm gonna be doing today is showing you guys how to replace a trigger track with another sample. Um, so for this example, uh, first of all, the audio on this is not gonna sound great. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to route my internal audio through Camtasia. I'm using a Sapphire Pro 40 um, and trying to trying to get my internal audio from Pro Tools to record through that, and it's not working for me. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know on that. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit more troubleshooting, but until then, this is what you're going to have to put up with. Uh, well, let's get into it. If you listen, I got, uh, this is my trigger track, and what that basically means is it's going to be the track that I replace with another sample, and uh, in this case, it's just like a click sound that's going to allow Pro Tools to know where you want to replace so I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second but I'm just gonna play this for you so you can hear what I am talking about yep so it's just a click um, and what you're going to do is you're gonna bring in the sample that you want to replace that with so I'm gonna replace it with a kick drum uh, and I've already brought that in and I'll play it for you so you can hear that. Yep, so just a, just a standard kick drum. Now what you're gonna do from here, this is very important, make sure you copy before doing anything else. So go to edit and hit copy. And then what you're going to want to do next is group these two tracks together. So group your trigger track with your kick replacement track. And you do that by selecting both of them. One's highlighted already, so I'm just going to hold shift and highlight this as well. And then from here on a, uh, on a Mac, it's command G and on Windows is control G, I believe. And what that does is it's going to open this up and you're going to name your group. So I'm going to name it drums replace and then hit OK. And what that did is it made a group. You can see it down here. And also when I move my cursor, you're going to see that it's it's selecting both of these tracks and it's uh, it's appearing on both of the tracks, which is extremely important. So. Uh, the next thing you're going you're going to want to look for is this highlighted section right here, which is tab to transients, and you're going to make sure that hi that's highlighted. And when it is highlighted, what happens is is when you hit the tab when you hit the tab key, Pro Tools is going to automatically find where your next transient is. So this is how you're going to be able to trigger this this uh, drum replacement sound. So for example, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I already have this copied as you remember from before so now I'm just gonna select somewhere close to where the first kick is and hit tab and it you can see it went right on top of it right in the exact spot I need to be so what I'm gonna do since I already have that kick copied is control V and you can see it went right on top of where it needs to be now people are probably gonna look at this and think this is gonna take forever if you're trying to go through a five uh, you know three to five minute song and it does take a minute but once you get fast at the commit at the uh, key command it's really not that hard so you can watch and I'm going to hit the tab key one more time and it's gonna bring me to the next one control V tab again control V and it's just the same process over and over and you're gonna do this throughout the entire song uh, and it takes a minute but like I said once you once you get going it's pretty fast it's really not that bad to be honest like I, I never used this method before because I was just lazy and um, I thought it took forever but honestly it doesn't take that long so no excuses and I'm gonna show you what it did uh, you can listen to them both on top of each other and you're not gonna hear any crazy phasing or anything going on like that Yeah, so by itself, the replaced kick so it works perfectly. Um, 
that's just a quick tip for you guys. If you have to do any replacement uh, replacement samples within Pro Tools, it's a pretty easy way to do it. I uh, hope you guys learned something through the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.